This is another 4 player fixed card game with blizzards which is being played with my subscribers. The green player is an expert and the yellow and black players are grandmasters. And this time it seemed that I had my troops all over the map in multiple different places besides Australia, and by observing where I myself and where other players had their troops, I decided that it would be the best shot for me to go for South America. As what I predicted is that the green player would obviously go for Africa with having a very easy opportunity to capture it once I move my troops out from North Africa to South America. Then I saw that the yellow player has the most of his troops in Europe and Australia, so I expected him to go for one of these continents. And then I saw that the black player has the most of his troops in Australia too, so I expected him to go for it also so unless he would have decided to be without a continent at all which probably wouldn't have been the most ideal choice in an aggressive fixed card game with subscribers. With him not having a lot of troops around South America I thought it would be a very small probability that he would actually decide to add his troops here to contest with it for me while if wanting to go for a continent he would have better chances to contest for Australia with yellow if yellow decided to go for it. But with the yellow player not going for it, Australia is left for the black player. So now every player has a continent to go for with not having to contest for them with somebody. The black player is going for Australia, the green player for Africa, the yellow player for Europe, and I go for South America. As you can see I moved my troops out from North Africa and made the green player the way to get out his troops from South America with me not leaving any troops on Brazil, so we could help out each other to capture continents without us unnecessary wasting troops on each other. And then with that I really hope to be in a mutually beneficial alliance with the green players besides helping each other out, it would probably make the most sense for us to be allies with us being neighboring players. So it would be better for us to team up on others rather than to fight each other, so unless we would get better neighboring players, or if one of us becoming quite weaker than another one, in that case for the stronger player it might be worth to betray weaker ally but it would really depend on the whole situation on the board. From what I see is that in the worst situation is the yellow player, he is the only player who hasn't gotten a continent and then if he captured Europe, then it would probably get invaded anyway. And besides that he is the weakest player too. So that's probably not a surprise that the black player started to manual roll him in order to weaken him as it would be the easiest for us to team up on the yellow player in order to safely get to the three player situation. Otherwise if we don't get rid of him when he is in a very weak position, then it could be possible that one of us could be eliminated as the fourth player instead of him. So I think the yellow player should have probably seen that coming that as the weakest player who doesn't have a continent while all others do, he would very likely be the player who gets teamed up on. So I think maybe the best shot for him would have been to contest for Australia with a black player, as then he might have gotten lucky to wipe out the black player from it and be the Australian player himself, or maybe meanwhile both of them would have been contesting for Australia, I and the green player might have started to fight each other. While right now the yellow player is a very easy and super obvious target to team up on to get to the 3 player situation in the most effective and efficient way possible. And now with the green player completely taking him out, here we are in the 3 player situation. And from what I see is that the green player is quite stronger than me and black and has a lot of cards also, but luckily enough he cannot take any of us out, so that's good. And with that I think now it would be the best idea for me and the black player to team up on green. As if we don't do anything about him, then he could win the game by starting to have more troops than both of us combined. Luckily enough the green player didn't invade me into South America, and then even fortified his troops out of my border to make his army trapped. So that becomes much more promising for me. As with that the chances to hold South America for me highly increases, especially with me trading an A set and putting enough troops on the border to properly guard it. This is what I'm going to do after wiping the green player from North America, as then with that it will help me to protect my Venezuelan border also with his closest territory next to that border becoming much farther. I could have considered invading him into a continent also like the black player did 
but I didn't want to unleash his biggest army which could have been used in the retaliation against me, so I decided to rather go for the green player's territories instead. And the situation is awesome with the black player crushing one of the green player's armies. And I think since I started teaming up with the black player once we got into the three player situation, I think I will continue doing so targeting the green player, especially when he is the player who has a turn after me, meaning that it's much more safe for me to target him over the black player, because if anything the green player would still have a turn to make no matter what. And then with that at the same time I could force him to attack the black player over me, well technically I could if he wasn't quite weaker than us, now he is in the situation when he is being teamed up on as a very weak player, so it's mostly about me and the black player whether we would like to continue teaming up on green, or if it's finally the time when one of us should decide to hit another one. And from my perspective it would be very good to continue teaming up on green rather than to attack black, as it could be very possible that the black player will over attack green if he continues attacking him. Last turn when weakening green I was very careful to look at the troop counter to be sure that he wouldn't end up being worth to be taken out for the cards by the black player. I think that's a mistake for the black player to continue so drastically attacking the green player because I will just take green out with all of his 4 cards. And I really thought that he has given me away the game up until at the end he came up with a very smart decision to shield the green player from me. But it still doesn't mean that it prevents me from winning, now it's more blitz roll dependent. And I will definitely take that chance, because even if I fail then it will be the green player's turn and with him being at 4 cards it is very likely that he has a set, so he wouldn't be given away for the black player. And then at the same time I know that the green player after trading an a set wouldn't have enough troops to take the black player out. As you can see I failed taking the green player out but it was super close, I was very close from winning the whole game. But leaving that away most importantly the green player has a set at 4 cards like I predicted and with that he wasn't given away for the black player. And what's the most promising is that the green player wasted his troops on attacking the black player leaving him so weak when I was at 3 cards, so with me actually having a set at 3 cards he created me a very nice opportunity to take the black player out for his cards and then have a huge advantage in the 2 player endgame with him. Actually not a good advantage but a total dominance. As looking to the troops counter I'm much more stronger than him, and while I cannot trade in a set from the black player's cards to completely crush him, I will be able to do that in the next turn. And I definitely won looking to the troops, territories and the cards counter, so it's just a matter of time when I will finally finish wiping the green player out. And alright he shows a good sportsmanship to surrender so none of us would be wasting our time. If you enjoyed watching this video then I would recommend you watching this one as well. That's another aggressive 4 player fixed card game which was played with my subscribers. So make sure to check this one out.